Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Wild Man Creations. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Jay, and tonight we're going to be making breakfast for dinner. Um, I asked Peanut the other night, hey, what do you want Friday night? She said, can we do breakfast? I said, yeah, I'm up for that. That's always a good change. We have a good time doing it. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to, and a lot of you guys already probably don't know how to do this, um, I'm going to do some bacon in the oven, um, which I need to put my... Keep my oven going. I turn my oven on to 350 and I get a cookie sheet and I put foil down. Because it, at the end, it, it's a lot less mess to clean up. And then I just put over how much bacon on there that I can get on there. And cook it until it's done. Um, you know, some bacon is a little thicker than others, some is a little thinner than others. I, I think generally you probably cook it for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. But it's one of those things that you can you can put it in the oven and the coin Ron Popeil set it and forget it. Put it in the oven and you know you've got 20 to 30 minutes to do something else. You can scramble your eggs or you can, you know, do whatever. Um, make French toast. So, this is kind of what we're going to do tonight. Um, but I just wanted to show you this technique. And, it, and there may be a bonus in there. I don't know yet. Um, I'd like to show you another technique that I learned many, many years ago. And if I can swing it, we're going to put that one in there too. It will blow your mind. And there's probably a lot of people that already know about it. First time I've seen it, I went, what? What? Okay, well, whatever. But anyway, um, I'm going to try to attempt to keep track of this, how much time it takes. Um, but like I said, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how thick or thin your bacon is. But we're going to cook this one in the oven, and then um, I'll come back and I'll do, hopefully I've got time enough to do another one a different way. So if you guys would, sit tight and uh, kick back and relax. And we're going to have breakfast for dinner. Hang around. Okay, here's the other method I wanted to show you. I was up visiting my aunt and uncle one time, and uh, he was cooking breakfast. And he pulled out the flour container and then proceeded to pull the bacon out of the refrigerator. He just going to town dredging that bacon in that flour one time. What in the living hell is this man doing? He has lost his ever-loving mind. Some of y'all maybe have done this. I don't know. I had never seen it. The only thing is, you've got to have some fat, and I don't think mine's hot enough yet. You've got to have some fat in there, so... It might be. Um, I'm only going to do like four pieces. But I'm telling you, it, it doesn't shrink up a lot. And it makes it really crisp. It's really good. So I'm glad that I saw him do that. And maybe my cousin Mark can get on here and attest to uh, what he did, or maybe my aunt did it and showed him. I don't know. But anyway, it was. I had never seen anything like it. So. The. Uh, If y'all would comment, let me know if you've ever done this or if your family did it. I, I had never seen it done like this.
Come on. Here, we'll get it. This is going to take a little bit. Let me uh, let me see if I can get it about halfway, three quarters of the way done, and I'll bring it right back. Sit tight. Okay, so we are just about to Nirvana here on the, the floured bacon. See how I kept it shape? I kept shape. It didn't shrink. And I guarantee if we let it cool off just a little bit, it's going to be just really crisp. I mean, it blew my mind when, after he cooked it and we had it, I was like, okay, I've, I've never seen that, but I always kept it in the back of my mind, I was like, I gotta, I gotta try that every once in a while, and as a matter of fact, um, one of my kids had some friends over for dinner one night, and, and this is what we did, and they kind of did the same thing, what are you doing? I said, well, I saw it done this way one time and it worked. So I don't remember the kids. Hope you guys remember me. And I hope you guys have continued the tradition. And I hope all you guys that are watching will try this and uh, maybe carry on. But this is wild. But again, you gotta have some fat to start with. You can't just, you know, dust it and throw it in there. You gotta have some fat to, um, like almost like you're frying um, uh, chicken fried steak or something. But anyway, when we get ready to eat here uh, in a little bit, I'll bring you back and we'll we'll sample it. So anyway, that's what it looks like. You guys stick around. We're not done yet. Okay, so here's our bacon test. Whatever. Yeah, this isn't, I don't know, as crisp as maybe you like, but it is done. Um, probably if I had pulled it out a little bit earlier and put it on some paper towels, it would have been better, but it's done. And this is the stuff that was floured. This is going to blow your mind. Look how crispy that is. That's crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me tonight. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. Have them subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I hope I've earned it tonight. And um, if you want to see more of them, uh, hit that notification bell. Hit all. And then you'll continue to get notifications every time I make one. They usually drop on Sunday morning or Sunday, Saturday night at midnight or Sunday morning, whatever. That's what I have them set to do. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. We'll see you later. Bye.